Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home and DIY projects every single week. For today's video, we are finally finishing up my bedroom refresh and if you guys tuned in a few weeks ago, you guys know that I had started to incorporate new items into my room. I know a lot of you guys can relate when I say that I'm the type of person who just loves to change up my space constantly. My bedroom has pretty much stayed the same. It's been very neutral and boho and it's just time to switch things up. So I'm very excited to bring in new pieces and do some simple DIYs and changes to this room to completely give it a different look. And today's video is in partnership with Klarna. And if you're not already familiar with Klarna, it is an all-in-one shopping app that allows you to shop from your favorite retailers. And the best part is you can pay for your purchase in four easy payments. So I'm very excited to share more about them. So stay tuned to see how I use Klarna to spruce up my space. And before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And let's go ahead and take a look at the before of this room. Hello from voiceover Tina. So this is what my room looked like before and it is very boho and warm tone. The inspiration was basically to make it look like an Urban Outfitters store. And although I love it, I think it's time just to elevate it a little bit. So in a previous video, I took inspiration from an interior designer's mood board and I switched up my duvet cover to this gorgeous green. And I also added in some new DIY decor pieces and I really just wanted my bedroom to look a little bit more mature and modern, but still fun. So adding in these darker, richer tones really made a huge difference. So after a few weeks, here's how the room is looking now, and the plan is to complete this makeover with some new decor pieces and a few DIYs. So as you guys can see, the room pretty much looks the same from when I first started the refresh. The only change is that my pillowcases are back to my terra color because I love those so much, but I will be switching this whole thing out and I know it's gonna look so good. One of the easiest ways to refresh your space is to bring in a few new decor pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've partnered up with Klarna and I wanna show you guys how easy it is to use Klarna, especially if you're shopping for a bunch of different items. And if you're planning a makeover as well, this is a super Super handy app to have. I'm a huge fan of Klarna, especially when it comes to kind of those bigger ticket items. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have used them before. And if you have, let me know in the comments below. And for those of you who are not already familiar with Klarna, they are a shopping app that allows you to shop from your favorite retailers and pay for your purchase in four easy payments. So it makes paying for things a little bit more painless. And what I love most is that there is no interest and it also doesn't affect your credit, which is super awesome. So if you're ever shopping online, you'll see on their product page that they'll have pay with Klarna and that way you can split everything into four payments. So right away when you open up the app you're gonna see a whole bunch of different retailers and you're also gonna see their different deals, things that you could save, but we're gonna go scroll around and just take a look. As you guys can see, I already have a few items on my mind over here. So what I really love about their app is that there are so many different ways to discover new products. So I like that they do a top trends by different influencers and people in different spaces. And at the top, you can kind of scroll through and see apparel and accessories, home lifestyle, tech, gaming, sports, fitness. And of course, we're gonna take a look at home and lifestyle and take a look at all their different retailers. And right away, you can see all the retailers that you guys can use the pay in for option. And that is really awesome because they have so many brands that I love. And even furniture places like living spaces, pottery bar, on West Elm, which you guys know kind of have the bigger ticket items. And it's so great to use Klarna for those sites because buying a big couch and paying for it all at once is a little bit painful, but when you split it into four payments, that is super amazing. And the way that their payments work is that it'll automatically split it for you and then you basically make one payment every two weeks. So if you already have a store in mind, you can go ahead and just search for the item or also put in the URL. So I'm gonna put H&M because I have spotted a few of their items and I definitely wanna include them in my bedroom. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time and shop for some items. All right, so I'm back and I have everything in my cart. And like I mentioned, I wanna add a little bit more of modern pieces and H&M has a great selection of that. So as I'm checking out, I'm gonna go ahead and click on K Pay. And this little section is gonna talk a little bit more about how to use Klarna. So H&M is a partner of Klarna and when you check out, you're gonna see that as a payment method. So we're just gonna go ahead and check out as normal. So as I scroll down, you can see that my order is about $56 but you'll also see at the bottom that it says that you can pay in four easy payments of $13.99 for members with H&M and Klarna. So after all the fees and taxes, you're gonna see a breakdown of your payments here. So they make it really easy. It tells you the first payment is $15.32 
and then two weeks later you'll get charged another 15 32 and so on and so forth so i'm gonna put in my credit card number and complete our checkout all right so i just checked out and i also noticed that diptyque is a klarna partner so i couldn't help myself but i did order a bougie candle from them their candles are so beautiful and so luxe and elevated and that's definitely something that i want to bring into this space and i'll do a little mini haul when everything comes here i'm sure a lot of you guys also like to shop in person and see things in real life especially if it's a large ticket item i know i always feel a lot more reassured when i can see something in person so it's really awesome is klarna is now offering pay in for in store and the list of available stores is growing so that's such a good option so if you guys are interested in checking out Klarna and downloading the app, be sure to check out my description box. I'll have a link down below and have all the info. And now that we have all of our stuff ordered, let's go ahead and start on some DIYs. One of the biggest changes that you can make to any bedroom is switching out your headboard. You guys already know I don't really have a headboard, but I do have this giant fan that hangs on our wall. So this has been on my walls at my old place as well as this new place for over a year now. And I think it is time to replace it with something new. So my plan for my first DIY for this space is to upcycle a headboard. I found the perfect one on OfferUp and I'm really excited for the DIY that I'm going to do for it. So let me take you guys off this tripod and go on a quick trip. So I found an Ikea Tarva headboard on OfferUp for $50. So we headed over to the seller's house. And when we got there, it was a literal thrift store. There were so many fun treasures. And I had to try my hardest not to get anything else there. But I definitely want to go back because it was amazing. And after that, we made a stop at the Cane and Basket Supply Co. They have such an amazing variety of cane webbing. And I was specifically on the hunt for a darker cane webbing. And I found one that would work perfectly for this project. So the first thing I did was sand down the headboard and this definitely had a lot of wear and tear on it and my plan was to paint it black so at first I was using a matte black spray paint that I already had on hand but honestly this was not the way to go so I switched over to a chalk furniture paint and this was working a lot better. <music> I let that dry after giving it two coats and it was already looking so much better with a fresh coat of paint. So next I went ahead and soaked my cane webbing to make it more pliable to work with. And for this project, I'm using a staple gun just to attach it to the backside around the perimeter of each opening. And when working with caning, make sure that you're facing the good side onto the front and ensure that it's aligned straight as you're stapling it. And as the webbing dries, it's actually going to get tighter, so it's going to give it a really nice look. And when you're done stapling, you can go ahead and cut off the edges. The roll of caning I got actually had a bit of damage in the center, so the owner gave me a discount on it, but I had to be a little bit more strategic in the placement and cut it down instead of using larger pieces to cover more of the openings. So I did have to staple it down basically one by one. My original plan was to completely DIY a headboard with half round molding and this was inspired in the mood board in my previous video as well and that project just would have been so much fun and fairly easy to do but as you guys may or may not know lumber is in such high demand right now and the prices are really high on it and all my local stores were completely out of half round molding Welcome to LA. So instead, I thought it'd be fun to upcycle a headboard and that way we'll also save a bit of moolah. And all in all, this project cost me less than $100 to do, which is amazing. I thought this deeper cane color would just match perfectly with my existing bed frame. I did want to paint my bed black, but I'm just going to keep it as is because I might be selling it soon. So we're just going to leave that alone. But I think that cane is just so classic and paired with the new black headboard, it just adds a lot more of a modern feel. All right, you guys, it's about a week later now and all of my stuff has come in, so we are ready to change up the room. I actually went back on Klarna and found a rug that I really love. If you guys watch one of my previous videos, you guys will know that my current rug, although it is beautiful, sheds a lot. So I've been wanting to replace it and I think the new one is just gonna fit so much better with the new vibe of this room. She's right here, so we're gonna open her up in a second, but of course I wanted to show you guys the decor pieces. So our new diptyque candle came in and I haven't opened it yet, but I can already smell it and it smells amazing. 
Oh my gosh, so cute. I don't know why, but I feel like this is like the it candle for home bloggers. So I'm really glad that I have one now. It brings in a little bit more of a luxe vibe. So this is gonna be perfect. And our H&M items also came in. So I got one of these gray vases because I feel like I don't have enough dark vases in my space. So this size is perfect, especially for a tabletop. And this piece I'm really excited to show you guys because it is a two in one candle holder. So you're able to put taper candles on this side. And then if you flip it over, over, you can actually put a tea light candle and I think that's amazing. This is just a beautiful fluted piece. It comes in a bunch of different colors but I love this amber glass just because it's a richer tone which I'm trying to bring into this space so I love that. Or the biggest piece of all, I finally have a donut vase. I'm in love with this piece. I got the larger one just because I wanted it to be a big statement piece and I was really worried that it was gonna break during shipment but it's also really nice about Klarna is that if you do end up making any returns you're able to pause your payments so that's super helpful and you guys don't have to worry about that and of course we're gonna bring in some DIY decor that I've made in the past so I'm gonna grab a bunch of those and let's go ahead and put in the new rug. You need help? No. I can do it. Oh this is heavy. What the heck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So here's the big rug reveal, the rug reveal. I am so in love with this. It looks so good. It feels super nice. And I also probably have to put a rug pad underneath, but it transforms this room so much. All right, you guys, the moment has come. It is finally time to say goodbye to our fan headboard. If you've been watching for a while, I actually got this as a gift and it's been up in my craft room since last year before I moved to LA. And it's such a good piece because it's super versatile. You don't only have to use it as a headboard. So I'm definitely planning on keeping it. But again, we are trying to go for something a little bit more modern. So I'm gonna take the new headboard and put it right in. So fingers crossed that it looks good. I'm so excited. Okay guys, so here's how the headboard's looking. I think it looks so good. And I know what you're thinking, it's a lot of wood and black tones, but once we put in all the decor pieces and get to styling, it's gonna look a lot better. So I changed out my duvet to this one from Parachute in the color Surplus, and this is more of a true sage green color, and I am absolutely obsessed with it. And since this takes up about half of the room, your eyes are immediately drawn to it, and changing out your bedding instantly refreshes any bedroom. This is one of my favorite ways to change things up without having to buy new furniture pieces. And I also got this giant plush lumbar pillow in the color Sienna. It is amazing. And it adds in a fun, bright pop of color without overwhelming the space. Oh my God, this is coming along so well. I feel like I blend into my bed sheets right now. But the only thing that we need to do now is just to go ahead and style all the pieces. I'm also gonna replace this lamp back here. And all I'm doing is just taking a lamp from my living room and putting it in here. And that's such a great little hack just to refresh your space, take things that you have in other rooms and shuffle them around and it's going to feel brand new again. I also wanted to show you guys how this quick DIY turned out. All I did was spray paint the legs as well as the knobs. And that way this kind of matches and also feels a little bit more modern. Modern and I'm really happy with how this came out. This is super simple to do. It probably took me about a half an hour. I think it looks so much better with this chair now and we just have to style the top of this as well as the other surfaces in this room. So let's go ahead and jump into the styling montage. First things first, I'm adding my Monstera back into my bedroom since it fills up this space quite nicely. And we're keeping things pretty minimal on these tabletops and using the roll of threes. So for the nightstands, I have small groups of three decorative items. And I'm doing the same thing on our revamped desk and mixing in some store-bought items as well as some DIYs like this bubble candle. 
the greenery from the plants is really going to tie in the green bedding and add life back into this bedroom so i'm sprinkling it around the whole bedroom and for the finishing touch i actually diy'd a large canvas painting over on my instagram so if you're not already following me there go ahead and do so i found a framed piece of art from home goods for only 29 bucks in the clearance section and i painted over the whole thing to create an abstract piece so i added on some mod podge and tissues plus some joint compound to give this a lot of texture and the colors were really inspired by the bedroom's palette and i basically was winging the whole thing but the best part about diying art like this is just being able to customize it and this way you can make it fit perfectly in your bedroom and i think this was just the piece i needed above my bed to pull everything together you guys, the room is finally complete and I'm ready to reveal it to you guys. After some new decor pieces, a couple of DIYs, as well as just switching around a bunch of things that I already had, this room is just looking so much better. Let's quickly look back at the before. It was very boho and I love that room, but it was just time to elevate and make it a little bit more unisex for Brian and I. And now let's take a look at the after. What do you guys think of the room refresh? I think that both the before and the after are great, but they just have different vibes with just a few little switches. So I hope you guys can take some info from this video and just make a refresh in your space with a few small changes. And of course, a huge thank you to Klarna for sponsoring today's video. I could not have done this refresh without them. And be sure to click on the link in my description box so you guys can download the Klarna app. I'll have all their info down below. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I have a lot more home content coming up really, really soon. This video was just so much fun for me to put together. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Stay inspired. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.